Now we now welcome on to the call the head coach of the William Mary Tribe, Mike London. Good morning, Mike. Now I'm mute. I think yeah, I'm mute. How about now? How you now doing? Now I got you. All right. Bye week for your team. I know you told us last week it was a good time for it. Uh, what was the focus, and were you able to get some of those guys uh, rested up and healthy like you were hoping? Yeah, a little bit of both. I mean, obviously, you go back, you look at what you do, you look at the, the analytical part of it, and, uh, you know, you approach it with uh, how you can make those kind of corrections. And then, uh, you know, coming off a, an FBS opponent, you always have the opportunity to get guys guys healed up. And so uh, that that, is, that has happened to a certain extent. And so we're about as healthy as we've been, you know, uh, towards the beginning of the season. But, you know, when you're in the mix right now and, and you're playing all these games, the soft tissue injuries are they're prevalent. But um, you just you, you figure out a way and find a way to uh, to make the next game count. So uh, we, you know, guys had a couple of days off, you know, for mindfulness, you know, the, the, the mental aspect approach about how you go into the latter second half of the season and they get ready to go. So uh, that's what we've been we've spent a lot of time doing. We did some recruiting. So just everything. I uh, got a chance to cut grass. You know, um, I know my wife was, she's grateful for that, that I finally did something as a husband, you know, back at home. But, you know, uh, so now we're back in the, the thicker things as far as the season is going on. First question this morning from Brian Smith. Good morning, Brian. Good morning and good morning, Coach. Um, morning. Assess six games in. You've got a break with a bye week. Um, where is this team at? Because I, I know you guys are tied for fourth, uh, looking up at two and one, you know, at, at CAA. How do you feel about this team with his experience and where it's going moving forward? Yeah, you know, I, I feel I feel positive about about the team and, and, and moving forward, you know, coming off the FBS opponent, coming off an opportunity to get players back, coming off a chance to look at yourself and then regenerate, rejuvenate. Um you know, refresh yourself. Um, now, like you said, you know, two and one in the uh, in, in the conference, but still, still very much in it in the opportunity for, you know, for postseason play and things like that. So, still re very relevant. Um, you know, with with an older team, uh, guys that, uh, that that have been there, done that in terms of the expectations of what it looks like to to finish down the stretch, and that's kind of where we are. So, you know, we're in the thick of like everyone in, in the thick of our conference schedule and. Uh, going to be competitive at, in all those games, but at the same same time, there's a there's a positive mindset that that's here in this building, and that uh, we look forward to you know the last uh, the last of the season. But um, the most important is the game that's that's coming up next, and that's against a really good uh, talented football team. Is there an added incentive because it's homecoming? Because you now the guys are focused in this case. Well, I mean, the, the incentive is for everybody else that's coming to the game. The incentive for us is, you know, in order to stay in the hunt of things, you have to win, you know, your your conference games. And like I said, um, this Townsend team that's coming in, and you look at, I mean, coach coach has done a really good job of coaching his players, coaching the effort, coaching, you know, the things that they do well. And so um, the last couple games they were in, they were they were in it, you know, to the fourth quarter, and so. Um, you know, the, all the all the other stuff is good for people that are coming in, but, but our focus is on how we can uh, take the bye week, what we learned, what we did, who we rested, the opportunities for guys to play that might not have played that much, and uh, come up with a game plan that we could be competitive on on this Saturday. Thank you. Next question from John O'Connor. Go ahead, John. Thank you, Rob. Coach uh, Sean McElwain has been sort of a hybrid. Uh, receiver for you so far um, and I wonder if you could talk about his role and maybe how you worked on developing the passing game during the off week thank you coach yeah Sean is a great young man um, he's uh, head high school coach you know Perry Jones as, as I you know I have a very good relationship with Perry been a former player at the UVA up there now he's a high school head coach comes from a great program and uh, he is a hybrid type of young man that you know that the benefit of of weights, the benefit of of being around, the benefit of catching the balls from uh, Darius and Tyler Hughes, and our, you know, and catching the balls with our young our young receiving core, uh, being around, getting bigger, faster, stronger. So his maturation process continues to grow and get better. Um, he's athletic. Um, during the summer, you know, he's 
he's posing as LeBron James dunks and things like that. So he's, he's very active and he's very athletic. And so our, our ability to use him at different levels, different ways, special teams, because he's long, he's got length is, uh, is one of the things, you know, we, we, we talked about and worked on. Um, so he's one of the most athletic guys that of that size that we have. And, and so uh, it's, it's going to be important for us to kind of utilize the skill assets that he has to, uh, you know, to, to get us going. Um, and so th that's part of the passing game. You know, when you have a guy that you, you can line up in a slot and go against, you know, their, their, the nickel, the nickel DB or against maybe an outside backer, he, he gives you, you know, he gives you some versatility from his, uh, from his skill set that uh, we got to take advantage of. Thank you, coach London. Thanks, John. Mike, your next question from Dave Johnson. Go ahead, Dave. Thanks, Rob. How you doing, Mike? Hey, Dave. You guys were um, pretty much in this same situation a year ago when you lost a conference game early. And then from there, you you ran the table. Um, I know that's not guaranteed, but can you draw on it? Can this team draw on that experience, especially with so many of these guys having gone through it? Well, you, you can draw on the mindset leading up to the experience. Obviously, you still have to execute and play the games. You know, the teams that, that are left on the schedule, they're very good football teams. And so, um, you know, you got to take the mindset, which is good, which, like you said, have been have been there. But then you have it has to transfer over onto the field, the playing field about uh, eliminating those mental errors, uh, executing your techniques, understanding, uh, you know, the, the concepts that we're trying to get get across to the players and how the big picture, you know, um, dictates, you know, the end of the end of the game and what the school board may say. So the mindset is, is, is there, has been there, but the uh, you know, actually the um, producing, performing on the field at that given moment is going to be critical as well. But like I said, we, this is, um, this is a little older team that we've been around, been around for a while and, and, and they, they have that kind of mindset. And, and so, I know everybody's talking about the coach speak about taking one game at a time, but that's kind of the approach we took, um, you know, Dave, the last time, you know, we were in this situation is literally one game at a time and the opportunities for anything you might have postseason championship play, whatever, it has to start with the most important game. And that's the most important game is this Saturday. Thank you. Thanks. Next question for Mario O'Brien. Good morning, Mario. Morning, Rob. Uh, good morning, Coach. Morning. Um, talk about as you go down the stretch. Uh, uh, the running game has been uh, consistently very good. Uh, how important will it be to bring some balance uh, with the pass, and especially being able to throw down the field a little bit more? Yeah, the running game is you know is always as you know, is, is one of the things that uh, we've had success in doing. We have to continue that so we just don't become one dimensional. We've taken some shots down the field and unfortunately, you know, whether it's overthrown or underthrown or whatever it may be, um, there were some shots, you know, some passes that have been thrown that, you know, that uh, if we caught those balls or they were completed, you know, we might be talking a little different story, but that's one of the things you work on as well as the explosive plays, not just in the running game, but also in the passing game. So everyone's well aware of, you know, we don't want to be one dimensional. Uh, we worked, uh, you know, tirelessly in terms of what we do uh, in, in terms of getting the ball in, in the receiver's hands. The receiving core has gotten healthier, which has been good for us. And so um, it's going to be important for us, you know, again, to be able to, if people are going to put, you know, eighth, eighth man in the box and, and stop the run, that we also be able to throw the ball. And, and those are some of the things that, uh, you know, we've worked on during the open week, and we'll continue to keep doing to make sure Darius is successful. Because uh, if, if he's successful from, uh, for throwing the ball and play action pass and run play option, then uh, we can be successful as a team. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Marty. Appreciate the article too, Marty, on my uh, my father. That was that was that was well written. I appreciate that. My pleasure. Thanks. Mike, before I let you go, just uh, dive in a little bit and talk about some of the challenges that uh, Towson does present for you. Yeah, you know, um, you know, Coach has done a great job of putting his his stamp on what kind of team he wants. They play hard. They play aggressive. Their two defensive ends, rush ends, are really, really good. I mean, they're 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 good players that uh, put pressure on the quarterback, uh, defend the perimeter. 
The quarterback has done a, a, a good job for them. He's been able to facilitate the football uh, on the perimeter. Um, he's, you know, he's, he's got a good arm, strong arm. Um, you look at, and then you got the Diego, who's the, you know, an all American in, in, in the return game. Um, he, he plays as a running back. So they, they do a good job of, of impacting and affecting your ability to defend, you know, the width of the field and the length of the field. Um, and they, uh, you know, they, they, they're close in some games and, uh, I know coaches got them moving in the right direction. So we're, we're again, we're going to have to play, you know, tough, aggressive, do the things that we're capable of doing. Uh, and to be highly competitive because they're a good team. So, but we look forward to the challenge after having a week off and now having a chance to get back into the the swing of things and get that, uh, you know, get the, what you've been used to doing, the routine back in place. And so I'm um, looking forward to it. Uh, homecoming crowd, you know, people coming in, it'll be a great venue to, to have a football game at. All right, Mike, thanks so much for your time today and I look forward to talking again next Monday. Thank you. All right, thank you.